Anyone who has played Resident Evil 4 has inevitably ended up in this situation. A chainsaw enemy bearing down on you with nowhere to go and no time to react. When caught in this situation, you have two options. You can either get your head cut off, or... get your head cut off. But what if there was a third option? As luck would have it, there is. This video from YouTube user Young went viral recently and has left a large portion of the community wondering exactly how this is possible. Veterans of Resident Evil 4 may be familiar with this unique animation, either having seen it during the old GameCube trailers and demos, or from having encountered it randomly during their own gameplay over the last 18 years. For example, when I played VR for the first time, I also recorded this happening, much to my surprise at the time. Oh shit! What, what the hell? I've never seen that before. Of course, he and I aren't the only players to encounter this rare event, as Laughing Raven posted a clip of it on Twitter three years ago. Or two years ago when the streamer, Hollow, was completely oblivious to just how lucky he was. Oh come on! Fuck, I thought I died. <laughs> the YouTube user Games to Lose was able to record this happening to every character in Mercenaries on the VR edition of the game though they did state that some of these clips took over three hours to record. So what exactly is happening here? Is there some secret strategy or trick to make this happen that hasn't yet been discovered? Something akin to the accidental discovery of the Dipman glitch? Young, Dark Shinobu and I got together on Discord to discuss theories, organise tests on the different versions of the game and compare results. The first thing we noticed was that it only happens with the fast swing from the chainsaw which moves in a more diagonal direction than the slower, more horizontal attack. My initial theory was that it could in some way be tied to the game's hidden survival or second chance mechanic. For those of you who don't know, if your health is higher than the in-game value of 301 and you receive a hit that deals more than 301 damage, you have a 25% chance of surviving the strike with only 1 HP remaining. There is also a 100% chance of surviving explosions this way. I took to testing several versions of the game, such as the PlayStation 2, Nintendo Wii, and PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, despite hours of testing, I couldn't survive the chainsaw, therefore making it clear that if this was tied to the survival mechanic, then the chances of it activating were far lower than 25%. While testing the Switch version, Young pointed out that something interesting would still happen sometimes. The animation in which Leon is struggling with the chainsaw before dying would have a variable duration, sometimes dying almost instantly, and other times surviving a second or two longer. 
Given that all but one of the available clips we had seen were recorded on the Switch, or VR versions, we started to question why this could be. The VR version gave us our first clue, as we know that Resident Evil 4 VR has a higher frame rate than the console editions, with a frame rate of 72 FPS. Most VR games typically are between 72 and 120 FPS. The Nintendo Switch, due to also functioning as a handheld console, has an extremely variable frame rate depending on the game being played. The Switch ports for RE4, RE5 and RE6 have been known to be inferior to the other 60fps ports for this reason, as the Switch can struggle to keep these games running at a consistent speed, often experiencing frame rate drops to under 30fps. Dark Shinobu decided to start testing the PC version by altering the frame rate manually with RE4 tweaks, and that is when he made a breakthrough, revealing the mystery behind this elusive animation after so many years. Resident Evil 4 was originally designed to run at 30fps, but can also run at 60fps. However, these modern ports have some bugs related to the frame rate. Anyone who has struggled with the Salazar statue QTE knows exactly what I'm talking about. Doubling the frame rate of the game made the QTEs much more demanding, as it would appear the inner workings of the game were not altered correctly to compensate for this. Dark Shinobu decided to run the game at triple its original speed, 90 FPS, and in doing so became immortal to the chainsaw. The elusive animation would play out consistently at 90fps without fail. This was also true for any frame rate above 90, as I decided to run the game at 144 frames per second to see what would happen, and had the same results. <laughs> 90fps proved consistent for all characters in the game and the mercenaries. Young even tested it with Ashley. As we've established that frame rates higher than 60fps will increase the chances of this animation activating, the greater tendency to encounter it on VR is easily explained due to that version's naturally higher frame rate. But what about the Switch? The Switch is lucky to hit 60fps and will, on average, be playing at a far lower frame rate. Given that the Switch commonly displays inconsistencies with the duration of the death animation, I believe the explanation still lies with the frame rate, and in this case, the variable frame rate. To test this theory, I decided to lower the frame rate to see if frame rates under 30fps also triggered the animation. 20fps behaved identically to 30, with the animation never taking place, but when I lowered it to 10fps, the results were the same as 90fps. Consistent survival. <laughs> I'm not a game developer, programmer, or modder, so I don't have the knowledge or understanding to perfectly explain what's happening, but I have a theory based on the evidence that we've gathered. The push-off animation we see is a leftover from earlier builds from the game. This isn't surprising as there are plenty of voice lines and animations that were cut out between the beta build and the final release. Despite having been removed from the game, the animations are still in the game's files, but can never be activated. In the case of this particular animation, I believe that variable frame rates that cause the game to suddenly play faster than it's supposed to, such as 72 to 90 FPS, or sudden drops that cause it to play slower than intended, such as the Switch version, cause a glitch where the animation for the chainsaw is repeated. When the animation repeats enough times, it activates the dormant animation from the older builds of the game instead of the death animation that is supposed to happen. 
This would explain why it has a greater tendency to happen on the VR and switch ports, as the vast majority of other ports have a far more stable average frame rate, greatly decreasing the likelihood of the glitch occurring. What is also interesting to know is that on the VR version, the game's difficulty plays a part in how frequently the glitch occurs. On easy mode, it happens almost all the time with an occurrence rate of over 90%. On normal mode, it only happens 75% of the time, and on professional mode, it happens around 60% of the time. This partly confirms my original theory that the animation may have originally been tied to the survival mechanic as something that would trigger to give the player a lucky break and an opportunity to heal or escape. In conclusion, the glitch does not happen on the 30fps ports of the game, GameCube, PS2, PC07, Wii, PS3 and Xbox 360. It is most likely to occur on the VR and Nintendo Switch ports of the game. It is extremely rare on the other 60fps ports of the game, PS4, Xbox One and Steam. It can be triggered consistently at 90fps. It can be triggered consistently at 10fps. It is triggered by an unstable variable frame rate. It is influenced by difficulty level, 90% on easy, 75% on normal, and 60% on professional. It is universal for all chainsaw enemies and characters, except Super Salvador. It is a leftover animation from the beta build of the game and was probably intended as part of the survival, or second chance, mechanic. I hope this video was easy to understand and has helped explain this vital mystery in the RE4 community. It's surprising that after almost two decades there are still new things to be discovered and investigated in this amazing game. If you found this video informative, please leave a like. If you have anything to add to the discussion about this glitch, or if there are any other questions about Resident Evil 4 you'd like to see answered, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. This video wouldn't have been possible without Young and Dart Shinobu, so please show them some love on their channels as well. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you in the next video.